Hello, in today's video we will go over how you can use GoOpenNC to bring in student-facing open education resources to a learning management system such as Canvas or a content management system such as Google Classroom. We will start by exploring how to use GoOpenNC resources with Canvas LMS. Your Canvas admin will need to install and configure the GoOpenNC LTI. Directions for this step will be linked above. Only a Canvas admin can complete this setup. You will know if this step has been done if you see GoOpenNC in your list of external tools in Canvas. To add a resource from GoOpenNC to a module in your Canvas course, click the plus icon in the desired module, then select Add External Tool in your module menu. Click on GoOpenNC and then click Add item. Click on the external tool link in your module. This will open Go Open and See in an iframe window. You should see collections, my items, and my groups. You can either click on a collection to browse items or find an item you have saved to your my items or groups. Please note that you cannot add items to your my items or groups from this LTI tool. You will need to visit www.goopennc.oercommons.org in a new browser tab and sign in to add additional items. For this example, let's look at the CK12 STEM Flexbooks collection. I will select the Grade 8 Math Concepts. I can use the Preview button to see what it will look like for my students. Next, I will click Select to add this material to my module. In order for my students to see this page, I need to make sure that the module and the page are published. Look for the green checkboxes. To see what this will look like for my students, I can click on the glasses icon in the top right of the Canvas page to enter student view. Using the student view, I will preview the page to make sure it looks as desired. Note that as students interact with the resource, they remain within the Canvas course. Click Leave Student View when done. Next, we will explore how to add Go Open and See content to a content page in Canvas. This is helpful for resources you want to add directions and other content to the page in addition to the Go Open and See content. From the Modules page, click the plus icon in the module you wish to add a page. Select Add Page in the drop-down menu. Click on New Page and enter a page name. Click the Add Item button when you're done. It you just created. Click the Edit button. Begin adding your desired content or instructions in the Rich Content Editor box. Add content from Go Open and See. Click on the plug icon in your Rich Content Editor and click View All. Find Go Open and See on your list of tools and click on it. Using the same path as we did for a module resource, we can either add an item from a collection or from saved items to our folders or groups. For this example, I will select a resource from the North Carolina Zoo collection on the last page of collections. I am going to add a Zoo Ed Adventure to my course on turtles. I click the Select button next to the resource name. Some resources, such as this one, link to an outside source. This will give the students a prompt to open the resource in a new tab of their browser. When you are done editing the page, click the Save and Publish button. Enter Student View one more time to make sure this page and resource display as desired. When done, click on the Leave Student View button. Exploring Go Open and See resources in Canvas has been helpful, and I encourage you to consider adding student facing resources to your Canvas courses. Now, we will explore how to add Go Open and See resources to your Google Classroom. To get started, I will visit www.goopenc.oercommons.org on a new tab of my internet browser. Let's make sure we are signed into the NC Ed Cloud and our school Google account. I can search for a new resource or click on my profile picture to see items I have saved previously. Let's search for a new resource. I will search for Lunar Eclipse in the keyword search. 
Since I am looking for a student facing resource to add to Google Classroom, I will use the search filters on the left side to help me find a resource appropriate to share directly with students. For this example, I will use the media format filter to look for videos. Let's look at the Lunar Eclipse Essentials video. I always recommend watching any video in full to make sure it covers information to the degree of the standards I am teaching. This video is short and informative. To add it to my Google Classroom, I click the Google Classroom icon and select the class I wish to share it to and the type of post I want. For this example, I want to add the video and pose a question to the class. So I select Ask Question and click the Go button. I then fill out all the desired fields in Google Classroom. Note you can schedule or save a draft if you need to come back to this post later. Once I click Ask, the post is now visible in my Classroom stream. I can click the View button to go to my Google Classroom and see what I just posted. One last quick tip. I recommend creating a folder on GoOpenNC with student-facing resources you can quickly add in either Canvas or Google Classroom. To do this, visit GoOpenNC in your internet browser. Make sure you are signed in and click on your profile image. Select My Items and you will see all of your folders. Click on the plus new link to create a new folder. I will call mine Student Faves and any resources I find on GoOpenNC that might be useful as student resources, I will save to that folder by clicking on the Save button on the item. This will help me have a folder of items ready to load in my Canvas course or Google Classroom. I hope this video has been helpful. Remember to follow at NC Homebase on social media and the hashtag GoOpenNC to see all of our posts.